you guys plan on going to cold weather or you're just curious how well the RV will hold up to cold weather, um, I guess we're gonna find out. <laughs> Hey guys, how is it going? Welcome to Living Tomorrow Today. And as you just saw, it feels like it's 10 degrees outside. That is not good for people that live in Texas. We're not super used to that. But since it is that cold, and hopefully you guys don't mind, I'm kinda, kinda doing this vlog style today. Check this out. Ice. That is a layer of ice right there. So what I wanted to do, since it's so cold, is, oh geez, I wanted to test how warm the RV will get when it is freezing outside and my shoes are sticking to this. Well, I wanted to run a test. Darn it, I messed up my own test. So let me show you guys what's going on. Yesterday I came out here and I turned on that heater and actually I thought it was going to turn off. Let me give it a little break. I thought it was gonna turn off on its own and apparently it didn't because what I wanted to do was come into the RV while there's no heat going and turn on the this portable heater and the, uh, the built-in heater that came with the RV. And the reason I wanted to do that was to see how warm the RV will get with just those two things, because we do not necessarily plan on running our furnace, this guy, which comes out through the floors. We don't plan on using it that much uh, because it uses propane. So we would like to be able to just heat ourselves with electricity. Um, and I wanted to show you how comfortable that can get. Now, I will say that you saw that it feels like it's 10 degrees outside and with just that heater going, it is a lot more comfortable in here than I thought it would be with just that heater um, right there. The kids rooms. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm wearing the jacket and, and jeans right now. I mean, it is, it's cool in here, but it is definitely not freezing cold. I mean, if there was, you know, the four of us in here and we had cooked something and, you know, I think, um, I'm, man, I'm really surprised at how good that is. Um, so, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and turn this guy back on and turn on this heater. Put it on high, just let it run. Let me set it to, um, I'm gonna set it to 70. And uh, I will come back in one hour and see how, how it feels in here. I mean, it's obviously gonna feel much better if it felt, if it felt okay with just that one going, then I'm sure it's gonna feel very good with both of these going. So now the one thing that I would be concerned about is the underbelly that is not being warmed up, which I believe the, um, the furnace is supposed to warm up some. Um, so let me show you, just in case you're wondering, this is supposedly a Four Seasons RV. It has the extreme weather package, whatever that's worth. <laughs> and um, that guy, I don't know if that means anything. So we will come back in one hour and see how it feels inside the RV. I know it feels cold outside. Okay, so it's been a little bit over an hour and um, it's time to go back out to the RV and see how warm it feels inside. And just to check the temperature, <laughs> it is still chilly outside. 23 feels like 10. Okay, so it is very comfortable in here. Let me take off my jacket. All right, so with my jacket off, 23 degrees outside, feels like 10. I could definitely walk around in here without my jacket. 
I wish I had a thermometer in here to show you, to tell you exactly what it feels like. I'm just gonna guess and say it's probably high 60s, maybe 70 degrees in here is what it feels like. Um, probably high 60s. It, it, it's very comfortable. Like I said, I'm not worried about being cold in here at all. And uh, once again, I, I have this heater on 70. See that right there? I, I'm, I'm pretty sure, I know I can still pump more heat out of that one. And I believe I can get a little bit more heat out of, out of this one right here. Pretty good. I'm impressed. I'm, I'm happy actually. That was one concern that we had. Now, in the future of when we plan when we plan on going to uh, Colorado and eventually Alaska, obviously 23 degrees is nothing. Um, well, Alaska is going to be in the summer, so it doesn't really matter. But I would like to spend the winter somewhere, um, probably Colorado, so I can do some snowboarding. And that will obviously be a lot colder. I mean, it will actually be 10 degrees and five degrees, not just feel like it. I think in that case, we will likely have a large propane tank dedicated to the furnace so that we can at least turn it on um, on the lowest setting and keep uh, more heat pumping in and the underbelly uh, of the RV warmed as well. If that was a concern for any of you, whether, whether a heater, or two heaters, I guess, will keep the inside of the RV warm? Uh, the answer is yes, it will. It is comfortable in here. Just wanted to make this quick video for you guys and let you know um, if the RV stands up to the cold. <laughs> I will see you at the next video. Uh, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Uh, give us a thumbs up and um, hit that notification bell. All of that, all that stuff does help us out. We are inching closer to becoming full-time RVers. And I don't know if we've said this or not, but our first destination, heaters are not gonna be a problem because we will be going to South Padre Island and staying right near the beach for a month. So that's to come in the future. Uh, we got a lot to do before then. So I will see you at the next video. Bye.